Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about mean end analysis. So, mean end analysis is a problem solving strategy uh, in AI planning. So, uh, here it is actually called as a goal driven problem solving strategy. Why? Uh, actually, we are going to discuss like we are going to find the difference between the present state and goal state each and every time, and we are going to choose a, a action that is that will make us to move close to the uh, goal state. Okay. So each time. instead of finding all possible actions what exactly we do is we are going to compare with goal each and every time so that's why we call it as a goal driven problem solving strategy in ai planning so here what we do we try to reduce the difference between the current state and goal state each and every time okay so means actually means what all the available actions ends means the desired goal so what we do we try to compare all possible actions with the desired goal and we identify the gap between the present state and the goal state so whichever is the action that we make uh, we are going to select the action that is going to uh, make us to move closer to the goal okay so selection of action to be performed is based on the goal okay so each time we compare with the goal and if we are able to reach to the goal faster we are going to proceed on that action okay so what exactly it does it reduces the search space instead of finding all possible actions what we do is uh, like all possible actions is your brute force approach right like we have to try all possibility which is not possible at all which is hard so what we do we try to find one action that we make closest to like that will be performed to make us to come closer to the goal state okay so this is going to reduce the search space since i'm not going to consider all possibility and if there is a heuristic function available that is well and good so we have additional information on how to proceed on which action to be taken in order to reach the goal faster okay so this is your mean and analysis and uh, it might be either like uh, the strategy might be either a forward or a backward process so what we actually do is like we try to focus on the major goal what we need to reach to reach to the goal state and when by when i want to perform that major or action what all the pre conditioning so for this pre conditioning i might need some other smaller tasks to be completed i'm going to perform all these things okay so this is a goal centric approach where we each and every time we are just going to focus on the goal that's it okay and oh, by doing this action i am going to reach the goal faster i'm going to choose that action and for that action i'll be having certain pre conditioning and if the pre conditioning is not a satisfied i'm going to find all the pre conditioning to be satisfied and i proceed with that okay so this is how a uh, mean and analysis works i'll show you an algorithm steps for your uh, mean and analysis so first step is you are going to compare the current state with the goal state and you're going to identify the difference and after identifying the difference i'm going to find all the actions that are going to reduce this difference okay so one possible action that will reduce this different faster so i'm going to choose that and if that operation has a preconditioning again recursively apply mean and analysis for achieving that okay and once after it is done you are going to create a new state and i'm going to repeat this process until the goal state is reached okay so this is how a mean and analysis works the formal algorithm for mean and analysis is given like this so you have a current and goal state and if there is no difference between current and goal state what does that means it is your successful condition we already reached the goal state we are going to exit or else what we go what we are going to do we are going to choose a action so action is also called as an operator to be applied at a time okay so we are going to choose an operator and that is going to reduce the difference right and when you are choosing a operator what does that means so before the operation what all should be there that will be your pre conditioning and that is given as o start and what will be the effect of this operation like when i apply this operation this is the goal or uh, the uh, outcome i am going to re re receive on so that is your o result okay so when we apply a uh, action okay o start is the pre conditioning that are required to be satisfied and o result is the final result of applying that operator on the current state okay and what we do is we start from the current state and after applying o start this o start will be resulting to o, o result right and that should be reaching to the goal state okay if there is a relationship that exists between this current state and the goal state by applying that operator before conditioning and after conditioning then it is in a proper format i am going to repeat this process okay so this is how a mean and analysis algorithm is 
applied okay it is a recursive process each and every time i'm going to choose a operator by choosing that operator i have to reach to the goal faster okay and i'm going to recursively apply this function until everything is satisfied okay i'll give you an example for what is mean and analysis a simple example will work we'll take this example so here uh, image is given and that consists of a lot of objects into it a dot a circle and a diamond and that this is your initial state and the goal state has one circle and one diamond alone and it is allowed like uh, this is the goal state that we want to achieve and the operators that are allowed over here is we can move a object delete a object or expand a object okay so each time from the initial state i'm going to compare to the goal state i can do some processing either i can move a object or delete a object or expand a object to reach the goal state okay so this is the initial state given now in the initial state i have a circle diamond and a dot and this dot is not there in goal state so first step what i can do i can just apply a delete operator to delete the dot okay so what happen when i delete this dot this dot will be removed now compare to the goal state uh in goal state we have a circle and diamond separately over here i have a diamond placed inside the circle so i have to move this diamond out of it so I, next step is i'm going to apply this move operator so this diamond will be moved out of the circle and what happen next when i compare to the goal this diamond shape should be expanded right i can call expand operation to expand it finally i achieve the goal okay so this is how a mean and means and analysis works so what we did here each time each step i'm going to compare with the goal and whichever is the preferable actions i'm going to perform that alone first delete move and expand i i end to the goal state okay we try to reduce the gap between the present state and the goal state okay so this is a goal driven problem solving strategy in ai pro ai planning thank you